up guys this is Rambo Adventures back with another video so this time we're going to focus on why is it so expensive to ride in Singapore Ooh, I love my new exhaust okay not say new it's been a while already okay so the crazy thing is the first thing that went up is the price of fuel even before I get into the topic so about a year ago on average it's about $2.30 when I pumped and now it's like $2.76 for one litre that's a lot okay <laughs> 36 cents for, per litre it might sound a little but in the long run it really does cost quite the, the difference So I think we all know that the CU prices is crazy. It's like 10,000 just to ride a bike for 10 years. It is insane, right? <sighs> okay, well, I looked around and looked through the news. I and mean, general sensing is there's a few reasons why it's such a such a situation. I mean, the first thing is obviously it's because of COVID. Specifically, when I was buying my bike in 20, uh, 2020 July, it was in between the COVID period. So, there was a freeze in the bidding of the COA. I think it was like two or three months. So, I actually secured my COA for about 4K. But in the end, when it opened up and when I finally bought the bike, it shot up to 6.5 so that's an extra 2500 and i was not expecting that so what i think about is because for like at least a quarter of the year you can't get a new bike you can't bid for a new bike this applies to secondhand buyers or private buyers like us dealerships so when it finally opened everyone just went for it and it skyrocketed the price of COE like if you backtrack last year August about 6,000 7, 8 and then now it's like at 10,000 man what the hell it is crazy now the second thing is mainly because of how COE works for bikes so normally when you scrap your bike or your car the series goes back to the same category but for bike it goes to cat e which is an open cat so it means you can buy any vehicle with it which is weird because i mean why isn't it going back to motorcycles it's 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 weird and when you compare with the cars the amount of cigarette that increases every month it's lesser compared to the amount that's adding in to for the car Another thing you have to also include is our population. It has been increasing over the decades and the more people that come in, the more you're going to buy, increases demand and eventually the price is going to go up. So hence COE goes up. Now, if you were to think about it, NEA did come up with a rule that forced all the bikes, mainly carburetor bikes all the bikes before july is it 2003 to be scrapped by july 28 2028 if i'm not wrong so there has been an a, a decent increase in the amount of bikes that's being scrapped but shouldn't that be sort of reducing the coe price for the bikes yeah the thing is it's not in fact it's going up lesser bikes on the road you should equivalent to more coe but that goes back to the point where not everything is going back to the bicycle I mean bicycle not everything is going back into the motorcycle category I've been seeing too many bicycles lately so all I think about is that Jesus so yeah then now the government decides like there's not going to be an increase in theory for all all categories for like about 15 years so what that's going to mean is whatever is fixed is fixed so as demand increases you're not going to get more supply 
and it's just gonna jack up all the damn prices and like I said the, the rich are gonna buy more so that is definitely a cost but I personally feel the biggest factor partly is COVID but delivery so now because of COVID uh, a lot of us are staying from home so ordering from home like grab food Deliveroo food panda even lazy to get stuff you can get lala move so all this what it does is it increases the need for motorcycles if you think about it grab and food panda most of them are using those cheap second-hand bikes because it is the most economical the economy on it is the best like if I were to do grab food on my bike uh, one I'm gonna burn through my fuel and two in the long run I'm gonna spend a lot of money trying to fix up my bike I mean come on you're gonna start and stop your brakes are going to wear off your starter your ignition coil and your clutch definitely and you need to think unemployment went up a lot of people lost their jobs a lot of them had to be resigned because apparently food delivery pays you better than a lot of companies so for those of us who do not have a bike what do we do if you have a license the first thing we're going to do we're going to buy a second hand bike or we're going to rent what does this do it jacks up the demand for motorcycles rental companies see it coming and they have been renting out bikes at a higher price and not only that if you're going to need more bikes to rent out so that's why there's a sudden surge in the need of motorcycles so it's definitely going to go up because more people are going to deliver now another thing that i came across it's a bit interesting there's a lot of blame on the dealerships and there was an article that came out saying that motorcycle dealerships are forcing the biddings up by placing a higher amount so that it causes the bids to go up because think about it if my coe is so high i rather myself just buy an expensive bike compared to buying a cheaper bike which is cheaper than the coe i mean doesn't sound right so if you have a class 2 license and you're thinking of a bigger bike if i'm gonna pay coe that's a lot i might as well just go all in and buy a big bike and a lot of times once the dealership secure the coe they can give you good discounts for example the smaller dealers can't really give you discounts like if the coe is 10k they're going to have to give it at 10 whereas if i have a lot of money what i can do is like hey if you buy my bike i'll give you 50 percent off so i only charge you 5k of your coe what's that gonna do i'm definitely gonna buy from that company so dealerships with money I'm, I'm not sure which dealerships do this but dealership with money can do this because their overhead cost is like they can bear taking a bit of money out of their pocket because they can do this whereas smaller dealerships especially privately owned ones you're going to struggle because i can't afford to be discounting on the coe because i am going to like lose money out of it so if you think about it the car dealerships don't really do this because from what i've, I've checked it's 2000 to bid for coe for car and it's 200 for a bike so technically i can burn a few two hundred dollars so a few bits and i can just bid anyhow i can bid 10k whatever man whatever jacks the price up so it has been acknowledged that this has been going on whether or not the government is going hard or any of the authorities are dealing with this i do not know because honestly i lost touch of this the moment i got this bike two years back now solutions there are definitely solutions to all problems but I think the bigger solution now would be possibly splitting the COE like how they do it for cars like for example like like my, my bike is a big bike it's not really meant for transport it's more like a luxurious bike but I use it for transport because I love riding and I love my bike if you're talking about transport food delivery most of the bikes are 200cc there's a that's a very small amount that's in the 400 cc it's mostly the cb 400 so if you split up the coe maybe 500 and below or those that's 400 and below go to one category anything above 400 or 500 cc 
it goes into your premium category so let's say for example this is just me throwing out some ideas right it's not what's going on so for example you got <coughs> let's see you got 10,000 bidding this month that's available you put 2,000 for those that are for luxury and you put 8,000 for those that are meant for transport smaller bikes so what this would in the near future eventually do is it will reduce the cost for the smaller bikes meaning if I want to do for work or just get from point A to B adds a damn good price because it will drop you have more biddings in that period but if I want to buy an expensive bike I'm gonna to have to pay premium so maybe my COE might go up to 12 might go up to 15 you know you never know but that's probably the only way you can sort of alleviate the the, the pain that is a lot of people are figuring right now because honestly some jobs you really do need a motorcycle for transport like for example my workplace is really out of nowhere having your own transport is so much easier doesn't matter if it's a bike or car as long as I can get from point A to B so the motorcycle is the cheapest way to get anywhere I mean yeah you get stuck in the elements it's a bit more dangerous but it's so much cheaper than owning a car like yeah it is super damn cheap so I think about it this is the only option and just to let you know even though the COE is at 10k damn the amount of bikes that's being sold by the dealership is insane like I mean, Harley Davidson sold out their sports ass, I believe. And if you look at Ducati and BMW, they are still selling so many damn new bikes. So it shows you that the rich are definitely gonna afford. <coughs> damn. Whoever's got the money is definitely gonna buy it. Like, if the series 10k and I get no discount, I don't think I would have bought this bike. It is way out of my budget. 10k are you serious it's freaking expensive what i will do is i'll buy a second hand bike and that's when the second problem comes so everyone that's selling a second hand bike is going to jack up the price i mean to be honest if i'm going to buy a new bike i have to factor in the new coe value and also the demand for second hand bike has gone up like i've seen people selling you know bikes that are not even supposed to be at that kind of value but they are still selling it and people are buying because buying new bikes i mean to the working population is just too expensive right now and all the price of the small bikes have gone up mainly the small bikes that's where you can see the difference so i have no idea what's going to happen it's been more than a month i think two months since it's been ten thousand. I really hope the government does something about it <sighs> I mean I'm not gonna buy any new bike and I'm honestly happy with mine I'm not gonna sell it either <laughs> but I feel for those who need it for transport it it is insane and I kind of feel bad for those who have been saving up and they want to buy their new bike imagine buying a new 200cc bike that costs lesser than COE the permit to ride is more than your motorcycle it's crazy man you look at car your coe is not more than than your the price of the machine it's a huge chunk but it's not more whereas for motorcycles the small ones it is for harley bm ducati maybe it's about a fifth or about one sixth of the main price so you can still bear the cost if you have but for the working population now nah, man this is crazy all right so i'm sorry about my rent but i really felt that i want to do a video about it 10k jesus now i have a feeling it's gonna go up i believe it might hit 12,000. i have no idea but any higher than this is just madness i am so glad i got my my dream bike before this nonsense came up about right? So till then guys, God, stay safe and I really pray the price of COE goes down and in all the cost of owning a motorcycle goes down. Alright, so see you guys 
in my next video alright peace out